All right, this is a quick tutorial just to kind of show you how reporting works in Planning Center, and I'm sure they have some really good reports already online, but I'm going to show you kind of what we do, and hopefully this can help you out. Uh, mad props to my wife, Vanessa Crabtree, who set up 99.9% .9 of what you're going to hear. Uh, so say I want to just generate a report about the next month, who's on what base. Uh, if you go up to this matrix at the top, it prints a matrix for all of your service types. Not super useful most of the time. I like to do it individually by service type. Um, so I'm going to use my Sunday service as my matrix. Click the down uh, arrow box, and you're going to be able to select how many plans you want. Do you want six, five of the upcoming? I'm going to use five because we're almost at the start of a month. And then when you click a matrix report, it populates everything that happens within a service. And I'm sure you've used matrix before. They're, they're baseline reports that you can print based on the matrix. They've got a whole bunch of pre-built uh, matrix configurations that you can do. You can have all, all people. You can have blocked out so you can see who you don't have. It's worth messing around with these um, plans. A sample matri simple matrix report is, is what a lot of people will use on a monthly basis. And essentially how this runs is it'll give you every tab that's open. So this gives me more information than I want because I've got my order of services for everything. Um, say I don't want all that information. I just want to know what people I can minimize different tabs and use that simple matrix report to generate. And so I'm not downloading 10,000 PDFs. I'm going to use a web page to generate the report I want. So this report should print off on one page really cleanly in landscape. I can po post it up, uh, wherever I need it in my worship center. Um, the other way to do it, and, and I really like the way my, my wife did this, and I want to share it with you. We did a specific matrix report, um, which is the Vanessa's one-page report. And I'm going to do this as a PDF so you can see how it prints off just a little bit nicer than some of the other reports do. So on this one, we've got it to where it's one page. It shows everybody that's on the team. The question marks mean they haven't confirmed. So I would need to go through and make for sure everybody's confirmed and ready to go for the next month. This is a great way to, to have some type of a Excel file without creating an Excel file outside of Planning Center. And I want to show you real quick how to create or generate these reports. So whenever you go to the print icon to, to generate your own report or create your own report, you click on the print button and then edit custom reports and you can create a report which is probably what I'm gonna have you do uh, if you're gonna copy and paste in the the text and if you've never used a HTML editor it can be a little complicated but this planning center makes it pretty easy we're kinda used to it based on making core charts or whatever in planning center so you can just read through and if there's anything you wanna modify or change or edit you can edit it so in this particular report we've turned some things off. So song selection is false because I don't want to see song selection on this report. Uh, show open only, that's false. I want the report to generate the same exact information every time, which is who's on my team for this schedule or the schedules that I picked out for the semester. So you'll, you'll need to, whenever you create a report, let's go ahead and create a report based on this. I'm going to copy the code. I want to create a matrix report, not a plans report. So create report, call it test. Um, doesn't really matter because I'm going to inject code. So essentially you're just going to select all your code, paste in the code that I gave you, and then whenever you click save, it will save it to your reports. And when you go back to your plans to run your matrix, now you should have that test as an option. So let's test that out. Go to matrix. I've got my services pulled up. I'm going to open lots of tabs to make for sure it's working. All right, so now that it's loaded, let's test out this report. Uh, not Vanessa's one page. Let's test the test one that we just created. So I'm going to click Accept. I've got other tabs open, so the real test here is um, are the other tabs going to show up? And they didn't. It's just my team, which is the report I need out of my matrix uh, so I know who's on what base when. Uh, I hope this helped you out a little bit. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me again. Uh, and if I can't answer it, I'll see if my wife can. She's the one that kind of does most of the techie stuff around here for the church and helps me out with Planning Center and utilizing the tool the best way I possibly can. But uh, God bless your ministry, and I wish you the best.